everybody. Welcome to Strip Club. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we have our latest quilt here up on the wall. It is called Framed. Do you like it? Yes. Thank you. Um, the framed quilt and these colors in particular have a very nice masculine feel to them. We had, um, and we originally did it this way. We had originally picked a floral print for the outside, but you know, some guys are like flowers. That's not a quilt for me. Not all guys. But some guys are, so we went with this outside print. So I'm going to show you how easy this quilt is to put together today. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, first of all, you need two and a half inch strips. That's what we do with Strip Club, two and a half inch strips. In addition to that, you need um, a light background and a dark background. Light and dark. Is this what I call it in the thing? Yes. A light and dark background. So these are your print strips, and we chose a nice collection of browns. It has a little bit of an animal print in it. Um, with a, just a touch of the yellow and some grays in there. Fantastic collection. This collection happens to be um, one available on the market by Island Batik. It is called Peppercorn. It just came to me. Thank you. <laughs> She's an angel. <laughs> So first thing we do is uh, we'll take our two and a half inch strips and we'll add the light background to make a strip set that looks like this. This one is so easy to do, you don't even need me, nor do you really, really need words. Strips, background strips, cut them into segments. Segments look like this. Yes? Make a bunch of strip sets. Make a bunch of these pieces. Take two of them. Flip one around, put them together. There's a block. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay, no, I'll tell you the real magic comes in the sashing pieces. The sashing piecing is the light and a dark sewn together into strips and then cut into segments. So here's your light and your dark. Press to the dark. Oh, it's long. Yes? Do you see? Now you're going to cut that into segments. Segments that have to be, happen to be about the same size as the block. <laughs> you see what's happening here? Okay, so this is going to frame, these are sashing pieces, and they will frame each block. In the corners will go the cornerstones, which are the same as the dark background piece. And I'd like to say that's it, but that's not it. The next time you have a, for the block that goes to the right of it, same concept, only now you will change the sashing segments so they flip the other way. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, now let's look at the quilt. Let's start with this block. Okay, with this block we have the light background touching the block, and over here we have the dark background touching the block. And then we have the light touching the block, and then we have the dark touching the block. Cornerstones in the middle, so it mo look, makes it look like every other block is framed. And then the um, ones that are framed with light have an outer frame to it. And that creates the effect, just like that. Very simple. But wait, there's more. <laughs> you will sew your rows together, sew your sashing uh, rows together first, then your block rows, then sashing, and then sew your rows um, one to each other to create the quilt. And then we're going to add the borders. There's one other element in this quilt and that is the border piecing. Do you see we have cornerstones? <laughs> and that's to pick up on that framing effect and carry it all the way out to the corners. Here we have border two is a cornerstone for border one, so it looks like it floats into border two. And then we use that same border two fabric to create two big blocks in the corners for the outer borders. Here's a smaller picture of it. Goes out like that. Just like that. 
Piecing in the borders, I know sometimes we don't feel like it because we just want to get done, but with a quilt this easy, <laughs> you can spend a little extra time for the borders to make it a little more interesting quilt. And I think for this pattern to pull that, the framing effect of the corners out all the way to the edges is a nice effect for this quilt. Do you like it? Yes. Aren't the colors wonderful? Oh, I love the colors, just so pretty. Do you have any questions on the quilt? How to put it together? Because it's really that easy. I mean, it really is that easy. That's a good question. The question is, how many different patterns or fabrics do we have in the strips? This uh, strip set has 20 different fabrics, two uh, strips of each of those 20 fabrics for a total of 40 strips that we start with. So you'll only see 20 different fabrics, but you will see 20 different fabrics. Some fabric bundles will have up to 40 different fabrics in a bundle, and that would work too. Oftentimes, our strip bundles, when we cut them, are two each of 20. The size we have up here on the wall is a twin, I believe. Let me just to refer to my handy pattern. Yes, it's, it's, um, it uses 36 of the 40 strips that come in the bundle. So if there's four you don't like or you think um, detracts from the effect, you can pull those out and not use them. They're in this pattern frame. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes. We like to do that for you because I know you like to make things bigger or smaller, and sometimes you like to use up fabrics left over from other projects. So if you want to make, I don't know, say a table runner, it only takes six strips. If you want to make, I don't know, say a throw and a table runner, 26 plus 6 is what? 32. Thank you, because I can't do math on my feet. So you could get both a throw and a table runner out of one strip set. Wouldn't that be great? If only we've done that for you. Would you like to see the quilt? Yes, ma'am. The second row doesn't look like it has borders? We're talking about right here? Yes, yeah, so this, the light sashing, the question is, um, we, you kind of, it looks like this is unresolved here, but that, that light background blends into border one. Oh. You don't have in the center. Yeah, right there. Here? No, you're not putting the center. The corner stone. That one? The sashing. The sashing. I'm sorry, the sashing. Help, help me. There is sashing around every square. Let me rephrase because I believe I didn't phrase it properly. Okay. Let me try again. Okay. There is sashing around each block. Two blocks will share a sashing piece in the middle of it. The, f the one block here will have light around it. And by the nature of the fact that this sashing has light against this one, it will have dark against this one. So then you change the sashing pieces, you flip those around here and here, so that this is um, everything that surrounds this block is dark, and everything that surrounds this block is light. That's a better way to say it? Okay. Everything that surrounds this block is light, this block is dark, this block is light, and you alternate and so on and add cornerstones. You're welcome. I'm happy to say things better. I'm sorry? This, the second row? It does indeed. This block is surrounded nothing but dark. Ah, I didn't mean to explain oh, this as the yeah. block. I meant to be this is the block and these are your sashing pieces yeah. that go around. It was too it was too fast. <laughs> I think we have it now. So what I, I should have said block sashing. On some sashing pieces, the light will surround the block, and on other blocks, the sashing, the dark will surround the block. Is that better? Yes. Okay, thank you for making, helping me make it better. Okay, but it's still border one, border two, and border three. That, that doesn't change. <coughs> it really is that easy. <laughs> Maybe if you, if you don't listen to me, it's easy. <laughs> So now these are just one color combination. I want you to sit and imagine a different color combination. Can you imagine it? it no? 
no imagination. I mean, Christmas colors. <laughs> Would be very cool in Christmas colors. Can you have that for me next month? <laughs> so this is also framed now done in different colorings. Notice the, um, the green fabrics. They really pop. So while it's a dark background, I think it acts more like an accent fabric. Yeah. So we started off with some wonderful floral prints, added the light, added the green, framed each block, some with light, some with dark, and then added the borders. Pretty? If you happen to love it, we happen to have the fabrics. Now we made another quilt. Would you like to see that too? Yes. This is kind of fun because these are actually the fabrics we're going to use for next month's quilt. So you get to see it in another colorway. This is um, a ballet pop from Hoffman called Splash. And this is the throw size. And it's just the top. Tops are easier to store. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, they are, but. Bright and cheerful, huh? Okay, so you remember what I said earlier? If you have one strip bundle, you could make the throw and a table runner. I'll come forward here. Can I come in front of you? Okay, so here's a table runner. Ha, ha I'm stealing the scene. Look, you can't see me. Ha, ha. <laughs> Okay, so this is the table runner. And you'll notice that most of our patterns have a smaller size option. Many of these table runner sizes from our quilts are fantastic. So we just thought we'd show this one off. You could actually make both of these out of one strip bundle. And you could make it a bed skirt. You just make it a little longer, a little um, right there on the, a bed runner. Yeah, bed runner. So this is the Splash Ballet Pop. Such fun, vi vibrant colors. So you'll see these colors again next month. How fun is that? OK, any other questions? Anything I can explain better this time? Well, if there are no other questions, I want to thank you for coming to Strip Club. Oh, did we have a question? Yes, I see a hand. Oh. So the suggestion is a photo quilt. Because it's so beautifully framed, you could put photos in there. And I might do a photo in every other block. And then the piecework, how pretty would that be? So can you have that for me next month? <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> OK, everyone. Well, if there's no other questions, thanks for coming. And join us next month at Cozy Quilt Shop when we do another pattern that uses two and a half inch strips.